Hello, welcome to day 56 in the Dyke Lane, where I'm building a lamp in our storage room. It's a big building day today if everything goes to plan. We're putting in all of our new things, all our new machinery and stuff. So, lots of building, lots of hauling. Um, and we should get, uh, if we get the, pr the, the prosthetics or prosthetics workbench built today, then we might even be able to uh, get Cervantes uh, a peg leg. Now, it would be handy if before we do any surgery, if we make some scrubs. So we've uh, we're putting back in the wooden tailoring bench as well, the electric tailoring bench. Um, hmm, just a thought. Can we actually build a tailoring bench? Uh, steel, plus steel. No, I would rather do it out of wood. Wood is renewable. But yeah, got uh, got a lot to be getting on with. There we go. There's lots of cleaning, lots of mining, lots of building. Um, we, as soon as we've got this bit here mined out, then we can uh, put in the art bench again for Melon because we're going to put that right next to uh, to here because this is the room where we're going to put all of the stored bricks and that's where we've got all of the chunks. Um, so the the art table needs to be near this area. Do you know, we might swap those around and put the bricks in there and the chunks in here as soon as we've finished. Uh, who is... what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm building this. So I'll, I'll get on, get that finished. we just get all this built and then somebody who's doing nothing. Deadlock? Oh, you're sewing. Um, Boris is researching. He's busy. Mia's cooking. That's excellent. Yeah. Well, as soon as the miners get up, we'll just get the miners working on finishing this. It's probably the, the most important thing for uh, for the miners to get doing. And yeah, if we can get this room finished off, then yeah, maybe we should swap around these two. More steel. And I need some components as well. Let's see, and how's the temperatures doing? Pretty good. It's the first of spring today, so everybody's been in a pretty good mood. All except Apple. Apple's been hitting on people and he's been rebuffed by everybody. But Apple, let's have a look at your background. As a childhood, you were a child spy. Often presumed innocent, but that made you an, an ideal spy. You were trained in the art of infiltration and information gathering when just nine years old. And his years behind enemy lines and the war-torn nature of his home world meant that he had limited opportunity for education. So, a bit dumb, but uh, very good at knowing what's going on, which is why he gives us all the information. That's He always knows what's going on. And then as an adult, he became a fighter pilot. He graduated from the Star Academy, which is, you know, one of those places that you go to if you want to be a fighter pilot. And he distinguished himself as an ace fighter pilot in three campaigns against more advanced aggressor cultures. However, after one vicious battle, he found himself stranded. Oh. Okay, well, uh, we'll just sort out research. We decided the next thing to do, actually, was to get hospital beds researched. Anyway, back to Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He found himself stranded with his carrier ship destroyed and with nowhere to go, he entered his escape pod and prayed. And he ended up at Nidite Lane, where uh, I think Boris found him, picked him up and um, helped him get back to normality. Uh, he joined us uh, in Nidite Lane many people with disturbed past pastime backgrounds uh, find themselves in the right lane. It just seems to be one of those things. 
Oh, someone's mining and it's Nordic. Excellent, you're mining exactly where we need you to be mining. Uh, let's move these out of there while we floor it. Floor it and wall it. Oh, who's a minor break risk? Mir. Are you anything in particular or are you just just tired? Tired and out of joy. Oh, he's been hitting on me again. Oh god, and he's really been hitting on Deadlock. Oh dear. Poor Mir. Get that hold as well. Oh, look! Right, excellent. And these uh, these tool cabinets that we've built actually help to help us to make things faster, which is great. Right. Um, what can we make? We can make. Can we make a simple prosthetic leg? Let's just see what we actually need for Cervantes. Your left leg was cut off, so we need to replace your leg. And Boris and Anubis have told us that this is fine, we can do it, as long as we get one of the guys who really is good, quite good at crafting to do it. Um, we'll make, make someone with some skill. And we just want one. Um, now, what can we make it out of? Components? Plas not out of plasteel. Make it out of steel, that's fine. So, oh no, it does. It requires plasteel. Wow, so a simple prosthetic leg. We're going to have to spend 55 steel, 3 components, and 25 steel just to get this guy up and running again. I say guy, it's actually a girl. Right, make one of those with crafting skill 5. Yeah. And the electric smithy. So here's where we make things. Ooh. Oh, great bows. Actually, are rather good. We'll have a look at that and we'll work out what we need. Oh, machining is done now. That means that we should be able to... Oh, Manners is pregnant. Good stuff. Hopefully with a girl. Please be a girl. Please be a girl. Um... Right, we've got a smithy machining table. Yeah. So the machining table, I think we'll put that here. Oh god, I've started a fight with Boris. How did me and Boris end up having a fallout? Oh, it was only a little fallout. Well, hang on. Let's just check. Bruises and cracks. Boris. Cracks and bruises. Well, Boris? Um, right, let's... We'll make that medical. Boris. Sorry, I... I beat you up. Go and rest until healed. I'll teach you to call me names. And, uh, and and I'll go and rest until healed, just to make sure we don't end up with any scars from that. That, But, yeah, at least we didn't fall out for long. Right. Furniture. We So we want a chair here. I want to make sure somebody with good skill builds that almond. Yeah, can you work on that? Uh, we want that hold as well. And then the floor in here, I think we'll use the same floor as we had in there like so and we can get the sandstone wall put back now that uh, 
we fold all of the stuff out the way. Oh, and... Oh, Eki's building this. Ah, excellent. He's done a good job. So the tailoring bench. What we would really like first is some scrubs. Just one. Um, oh, do we need medicine? We need two medicine and 60 cloth. Okay. Now for that, I think... Well, we'll wait until both I and Boris have, are healed. And then um, we'll... Because we don't want anyone using the medicine to uh, to heal our cracks and bruises. That would be quite excessive. Ah, good. We can build the rest of this wall here now. And then we can put in the artist's table again. Um sculptor's table. There it is. So I'll have the sculptor's table uh, here. And Eki, I know you're on with that, but could you just... Sorry, Eki. As soon as you're finished building that chair, could you smooth that area there? just before uh, we build a chair on top of it. A good chair, a normal chair. Excellent. Okay, I'm fully healed. Very good. What about Boris? Boris is still healing. And I tell you what, Boris, come and rest until healed in there, and then we can turn that bed back to yours. Just before I forget and you end up sleeping on the floor. Um... What am I? I seem to be wearing something new these days. A cloth jacket. Am I wearing one of Boris's old hand-me-downs? What happened to my jacket? I had a really nice duster. I bet that's what Boris was teasing me over. So who's wearing my old duster? I bet that's Almond. Almond, are you wearing my clothes? He is. Oh, look at this. Melon's making the uh, the prosthetic leg. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm, what do we know about it? It's only 80% as efficient as a normal leg. Not very comfortable, but quite efficient. Definitely better than no leg. Um, Boris is healed now, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to say that that medicine can be used. Uh, oh no, that medicine has been used. Right, what about scrubs? Oh, that's what we needed the medicine for, wasn't it? Unless they can use herbal medicine to make scrubs. Let's see if we can get someone to try. Um, who's our best tailor? Tailoring is 
Eki. He's on nine, eight, eight, seven. Right, Eki. Oh, as soon as you're finished, let's see if we can get you. Right, needs materials. Is that cotton or is it that you're not allowed to use the medicine? Let's see. Yeah, it's the cotton. So we'll forbid that. How's the cotton getting on? That's 49. That's 40. So we're not quite... We're going to be a little while yet before we've got... What was that? We've got an alpaca. Well, nobody mentioned that there was alpacas around here. Mm, they're quite gentle creatures as well, relatively speaking. What's their lifespan? 15. Be interesting to try and tame an alpaca, maybe? wonder if they can haul. Well, we'll, uh, we'll have a go at taming it if it happens to wander close enough to uh, to our area that dead looks safe enough to go out. German, where are you going? Aren't you supposed to be in the animal safe area? Oh, he is. Well, I can hear someone working. Ah, I think they're... They're laying the floor here, aren't they? Yeah. Ah, oh, excellent. That is brilliant. Right, here, now. Disassemble mechanoid. Uh, do that forever. Um, I don't think it's possible to fail to do that, so we'll allow anyone to do it. Oh, excellent. Look, we can make gas masks, and we can make assault rifles, armor vests, Kevlar helmets. Hmm, that's good stuff. Well, we'll have a, a think about what what we might need and um, and start putting that into production. But I think we should... Our first batch of cotton, I think what we'll do, we'll make some scrubs because that makes people better doctors. And then we'll take our best doctor and we'll see what we can do about making about getting Cervantes a leg because then I'm pretty sure Cervantes really likes us he's been really happy it's just that he's got no leg and that's and he'll, he actually would really like a body part look he's wearing worn out clothes and everything and he would love to come and join us. He just can't. Uh, there's there's not much he can do. Look, see, really likes Minty, really likes Anubis and Boris. Just not much that he can do. He's not going to join us until we can sort out his leg. But anyway, that's all for today at Nidite Lane. Do join us tomorrow and we'll see how far we get with, uh, with Cervantes' leg. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. There were four of them, all houses, together in Nidite Lane. Together lived Boris and Anubis. Anubis was always sorry about something. Next door came Minty and Nordic, and Minty really annoyed Nordic by calling him a beast all the time. And the next house was noisy. Cause Apple and Melon always had domestics But it was the fourth house that the police were interested in Because power suits Sal kept mirror in the closet They all lived
together in Midnight Lane. A colorful place to be. We all live together in Midnight Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. At Boris's and Anubis's. There was a man who could be sometimes mistaken for a hobo smelling of alcohol trying to climb the walls. But it's okay, cause it was Anubis' Canadian cousin, drunk Spider-Man, and a little Santa's helper could be seen going house to house. It appeared when someone got tired of Almond, the gist Hand them on to the next surrogate parents. They all live together in Midnight Lane. A colorful place to be. They all live together in Midnight Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. It seems they pissed off the neighbors. Something to do with the peel P50 dragon children But that's just Boris No one questions him Cos that's what happens In Midnight Lane